Hey guys, Sark here from Socky Tech, and in today's video we have some great news in relation to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and the S7 Plus. So what we have is we have a brand new One UI 4.0 update with Android 12 that brings a whole host of new features to the table. So let's start over and get started to see exactly what is going on. So first and foremost, go to your settings. Go all the way down, go to software update. Now in my case, I already installed the update, but this is what it looked like, okay? That's One UI 4 upgrade with Android 12. If you go all the way down, if you go all the way down, you're gonna see that this update is 2,645 megabytes. So it is quite massive, and we have a lot of new features. So let's dive in and get started and go over some of the top features. So one of the top features actually is further ability to customize your uh, tablet. So basically when you pinch the screen and you go into your wallpaper and style, you now have this brand new option that is known as the color palette. And this color palette is going to choose, extract a bunch of colors from your existing wallpaper, whatever wallpaper that you have on your home screen or the lock screen is going to extract the colors and then you you are able to theme your tablet based on those colors so here's the options for example so i can click on this guy click on this guy you can see it gives you an example of the changes that do take across the tablet notifications panel changes a little bit you know you can see phone dialer changes a little bit the settings are going to change a little bit you're going to have a little different theme and then you are able to apply the palette to app icons so when i click on this guy now my actual app icons are also going to inherit this color that I've chosen right here. So let's see what that looks like. I, I click done, takes a couple seconds. I'm going to go home and you're going to see all the uh, icons have been now themed based on that color of the wallpaper, including these guys on the side. So when I pull this down, you can see we have that brownish color. If I go to the settings, you can see we have the uh, brown background here, light brown. We have brown colors. If I go up, we've got the browner dials. So if I go into any system app, it's also going to have that brown uh, theme going around it. Okay, so that is absolutely fantastic. Maximum customization. Now we also have a brand new widget design. So if I pinch the screen, go into my widgets, we now have a new screen that is more organized, okay, to uh, pick widgets. So for example, if I want to use a calendar widget, I click here, it shows me all the available options for that particular application, and then I can just drag and drop it onto the screen, as you can see. And that is great. Uh, again, like I said, pinch, widgets, and you can see they're all nice and organized. Uh, the clock widget is slightly updated. So this guy right here, if I grab this and if I dump it to the screen here, let me just put it right here you now have the ability to see, let's make this bigger, uh, the actual second hand on the phone, uh, on the tablet. So if I tap on settings, you can see all these guys have the second hand, uh, which in the previously we did not have the second hand, we only had the minutes and the hour. But now you have a live second hand that gives you a little bit more realism. Now another cool thing is if you have an application that supports the pop-up mode, what I can do is I can bring up the pop-up mode. Let me just bring that up, okay? And you can see we have a little handle here that allows me to move this around or even resize it. But now I can click on this and I can actually pin all the options on the top, just like a Windows computer. So look at that. So I can pin these options instead of having them hidden. So if I tap this, it comes down. If I tap over here, right here, it actually pins it to the top. So that is, in fact, quite cool. Now one more cool thing they added was with the edge panels. When you pulled in the edge panels normally, what would happen is everything else would be blurred out. Now they don't do the blurring. So when you pull the edge panels in, you can see what's going on here while still being able to access your edge panels. No blurring involved, which I happen to like. Now one great feature in relation to YouTube application is the picture in picture. Actually it works in any application that supports picture in picture. So if YouTube app is playing, if I tap home, you get this little window here, which is normal, but now you can pinch to make it bigger and smaller. And what I like with this one is you can make it quite big as you can see. So you can be doing something else on your tablet and have a little screen 
of any size on the side, just like this. Look at that. Beautiful. Put it to the side, bring it back up. So if you want to do something on your tablet, let the video play on the side, do your thing, and then bring it right back up. Another great feature has to do with your privacy. So just to give an example, if I launch any application that uses your camera or your microphone, you're now going to get notified. So let me launch the camera application, for example. So when you launch the camera application on the top, it's going to be a green dot. When I pull this down, I can actually click on that dot. It says the camera, the green dot here, is being used by the camera application. So even if you launch Facebook or a video sharing application, it's going to give you that indication on the top that your camera is now being used. Very useful to see what's happening with your tablet. Now the other thing in relation to the privacy is if you tap on the settings, and if you go down, you have this powerful new privacy dashboard. Uh, should be right here. There it is. If you tap on it, you got a whole host of things here. The biggest two things are this. You're able to turn off the camera access and the microphone access permanently for all applications. So it is basically going to be a kill switch for the camera and the microphone. So no application on this tablet now can access and use the camera or the microphone. So that's one option. Okay, let me just enable them for now. Other thing here, we have the permissions used in the last 24 hours. If you tap on this guy, basically, let me tap on start, you can see that the camera has been used by these applications in the last uh, 7 days, 24 hours. So that's going to be working for everything. So your location. What applications have used your location in the last 24 hours or 7 days? Bixby Voice, Maps, and the good news is you can click on this guy and you can actually say do not allow or ask every time I launch the app to use my location. So you get control over the privacy of your device. And you can also do this. It says use precise location. If you disable this, the application is not going to be able to see the precise location of your tablet. Okay, it's going to get an approximate location. So that's another layer of security. And again, you can switch to the last seven days and 24 hours, 24 hours, and you can tap on permission manager. This is the next level. So for example, it says the camera on this tablet is being used by eight applications right now. I can click and see which one they are. So allowed while in use, these applications, allowed all the time, these applications, and then not allowed these applications. And again, I can click and modify every single one of them. So we do have some powerful privacy protection. Now, another change comes to the device care. So if I go to my settings and if I go all the way down uh, over here, we have the battery and device care. Two things they added at the bottom, we have additional care options. First, you can access your software update right from here. Second, you can now access the diagnostics menu from here. So when you click that, it's going to allow you to diagnose any problems with your tablet. For example, uh, it, as soon as it launches, I'm going to show you what's happening. Now it's going to show up like this, but just to give you an example, I can tap on battery status and it's going to check the battery and it's going to tell me it's normal and the life of the battery is in good condition. Doing fantastic right now. You can check all these uh, various options here, camera, touchscreen, the buttons, the microphone, the wired headphones, everything can be diagnosed from here. Uh, from the diagnosis menu. And of course, if you're playing music in the background using any music application, when you pull this down, you're gonna see get access to this music player right here. Let me just pull this down. There we go. So I can uh, pause, play next track, previous track. I can even rate that music. And also, look at this. I can swipe over and see what's happening on my YouTube application. So that's YouTube and that's YouTube music. I get controllers for each one of those guys and I can tap the media output right here and that's going to allow me to project the sound of my tablet to any connected Bluetooth devices. The list is going to appear right here. So that is great. All right, so those are some of the top new features for One UI 4.0 on your Tab S7 or the S7 Plus or the Tab S6 when it comes out for that one. But if you do have any questions, comments or concerns, Drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. 
Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.